there may be a number of reasons why you need to copy files between OneDrive and SharePoint and go into other videos on the difference between these two file directories. But today what we're going to focus on is literally taking files here from a OneDrive directory and dumping it here into a SharePoint directory. Now we can do this of course for multiple files and multiple directories but today we're really going to focus on a single file that gets created here and then it dumps it here and then we're going to we're going to um, delete it from here so lots of good things going on in this flow today it's really pretty simple once you get it going so let's go ahead and jump right to it so the first thing you want to do is create an automated flow and remember here if we go to here we're going to create and then it's going to be right here automatic automated cloud flow and i think i documented it here what that looks like yeah so there's a couple gotchas here that you just need to be aware of so let's go ahead and pull this in so again this book will be online just keep your eyes open for it um but this is these are the actual instructions and the key here is and pause the video if you need to but let's start one drive for business so there's two connectors here. So here you can see I went to Power Automate, Create, Automated Cloud Flow, um, like right here, right? And then, um, and then let's go ahead and go down here. The trigger, we're going to search for win a file. So just type that in, win a file. And then you're going to be presented with this. It's going to say when a file is created in OneDrive, and it's going to say when a file is created in OneDrive for Business. The one that we're working on today is OneDrive for Business. The way that you know you got the wrong one is if you go in to look for your folder and it's not there. If it's not there, that means that you got the wrong one. So you got to go back and redo it. So let's just make sure that we're, we're on the OneDrive for Business. Although I, I put here OneDrive. But... Again, pause the video if you want to kind of capture my notes here. When a file is created, that's the actual action that you search for when you hit the plus key. And then the, it's a trigger, specify the folder. But you can see here, get file content um, using path. That's the actual action. But I've changed it here so that I know what's going on. And I would suggest you do that in your flows as well. Kind of helps you keep your sanity. So here... What are we going to do? We're just going to say when it's created, I want to look for a specific file in OneDrive. And to do that, we're just going to click on that bad boy. We're going to click right here to show the content. And then we're going to load it. And again, this is where if you don't see your data files, then, um, then something's wrong. And the way I always check is I just go to my files in OneDrive and I look at my folders. And then I say, oh, okay, is that what I'm seeing here? The answer is no. Chances are I have OneDrive and not OneDrive for business. So, or vice versa, however you want to set it up. But that's how we're working. And here, we just picked here, customer files for tasks. And that's that's how that came in there. You can also just type this in if you want. So if you know what the folder name is, but I usually pick it just to make sure I didn't, you know, I could have made a typo when I was creating the folder. So that's how we do that. Second one here that we want to add here again get file content using path is the name of the action get file content from onedrive 5 is what onedrive file that's what i think of it as right that's what i want to name the action again encourage you to do that renaming is right here and edit note is right here as well okay and then the from when a file is created in onedrive so right here this is if you look at that you don't it's not really self-explanatory that it came from here now it's obvious because there's only one other place i could pull from which is this so it's going to be there so when i go in here to file name remember right here when a file is created in onedrive when a file is created in onedrive remember that link so don't forget that and then file name right here we're going to click on file name now if you want to get the path in what you're going to need the path you can click on the folder first and then go to the path itself. But notice here, if I just click on the path, it's not going to do anything for me. I have to actually click on a file within that path, but that's not the file I want to use. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So let's say here, for example, I'm just going to copy this so I don't have to retype it. 
So let's just copy this and then we're gonna blow this whole thing away so you can kind of see what I'm saying. So here you want a path and we wanna put the path in there. Now, we could just select here um, file path or file name, right, name. But are we getting the right path? Well, to make sure that we get the right path, we can put the file name in and then just type in, whoops, we can just type in uh, the name of that path, right, as the file name, okay? So we can put it right there in front, or we can take and go ahead and select that file path. Now I kind of explained that here, but I'm gonna walk you through it. So we're right here, create, so we could just type this in, or we could select the file, erase the file name, and then click on file name. So let's go ahead and take a look, see what that looks like. So here we're gonna click on the file, the folder there. We're gonna to go to the actual place, which is customer files right there. We're gonna click on show the file content. And we're just gonna say here plan for PDF, MFA PDF, okay? Now, we're gonna go ahead and just delete that content. Okay, but notice that it's coming back up again. So let's just go ahead and click on file name. Do you see where my cursor's blinking? Right there, click on file name. Okay, now go behind here and click on this. Whoop, and I clicked one too many, file name. Okay, so we're good there. I, it's kind of quirky, so just you, just be aware. Might work the first time, might not. So here um, we have that file name, and remember we want to call this as the file name from the file that's getting created inside of OneDrive. We need it as a variable, we don't want it as a static file name, okay? So we don't want it as one of these file names, we want it as the next file name that gets created, okay? All right, now we're gonna point to SharePoint and inside of SharePoint, we're gonna point to the site and to the directory inside of SharePoint, which happens to be this directory here. Now, it just happens to be that I named them the same for the video, they do not have to be the same. Now, this file name right here, notice here, file name from get file content from OneDrive folder. There it is right there, get file content from OneDrive folder. So again, pause the video, use this as a reference tool. I put these tips in here for you in case you need to redevelop this sometime. So here, let's just go to file name here. Now, if yours doesn't look like this, it's because you haven't selected right here to show experimental features. You don't have to do that, by the way, but just so you know, this is dynamic and then this is uh, where you can add an expression. So here, notice here, file name. So we wanna get file content, this one right here from OneDrive, file content, um, excuse me. All right, we wanna get file content from OneDrive file, file name, and I misnamed that, it's from when a file is created in OneDrive is what we wanna get it from. So let's go ahead and edit that real quick here. So sorry about that. So we're gonna get that from, so this is why I use the videos to kinda of go through. When a file is created in OneDrive, file content. Okay, and the next one we wanna say is when a file is created in OneDrive, remember this one's get file content from OneDrive file, okay? And then this is when a file is created. And then so let's go to the body there, click on it. Now notice body is not one of them. Okay, so why it changes the name, I don't know. But here, notice when a file is created in OneDrive, that's what we have in our note, when a file is created in OneDrive. And then we're gonna select file content, file content, which is also known as body, okay? once it runs. So notice here I have here dash file content. So you know what it is, dash file name. So you know what it is. Again, pause the video if you need to, to create this file. And I apologize, I'm going into a little more detail for those that uh, may not be familiar with Flow. Last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna delete the file. So we're gonna delete the file from OneDrive for Business. That's the action, delete file, okay? And then we're going to, for the file from get file content from OneDrive file, right here, okay? 
and we're going to use the file identifier from there. Okay, and you're just going to type in file, and there it is, right there. Okay, so this is when a file is created in OneDrive. See, buggered that up too. So we're going to copy that, and we're going to change it here as well. All right, now really I should probably redo this, but. I apologize, it'll just be a little longer. One file is created in OneDrive, and we're going to pull the file identifier from there. We're good to go now. Let's go ahead and test this bad boy. So we're going to hit test, we're going to hit manual, and then we're going to go over to OneDrive, and we're going to create a document. Whoops. We're going to create a document. So we're just going to go, we're actually just going to create a link. So let's just um, put in HTTPS um, www.google.com. Okay, and we're just going to name this. We're just going to call it Google. Okay, and it doesn't matter if it works or not, but let's just say that's what we want to do. And we're going to name this Google. Okay, and then we're going to hit create. Okay, so it's created the link. You're going to see it here. Let me refresh here. You'll see it right there google.url. Now we're going to go over to the flow. The flow is running. And it looks like it's completed successfully. Now we're going to go back here. And sure enough, there's google.url. So that works. And then, of course, if you click on it, it's going to work. And then now, notice it's still here. Let's just go ahead and refresh by selecting F5. And now that's gone. And so that's how you build a move a file from OneDrive, create the file in SharePoint, and then delete the file in OneDrive.